not speaking. So this is why Bluetooth headphones, uh, or at least Bluetooth headsets over a, a computer always sound bad compared to what they should sound like over like a phone through Discord. So let's start out by, by discussing why it's specifically Bluetooth. And so I'm going to start out with just saying let's have a rectangle here and this is my Windows machine. This is my Windows machine. No, it's mine. There we go. That's my Windows computer. That's just, yeah. And then let's have. Let's have this diamond over here. Actually, no, not a diamond. Let's have... And let's have this thing be my headphones. Or my Bluetooth headset. So these communicate back and forth with Bluetooth that, just for demonstration, has a set bandwidth. Because back in the day, when Bluetooth was first coming around, it was meant for phones. And phones could only communicate at a certain bandwidth. Nowadays, that bandwidth has increased, I'm pretty sure. And so that's why phones no longer do this. Uh, if you do it over Discord, you'll notice it sounds better on a phone than a computer. But it's still the same way. So let's say you have a line, or the Bluetooth line is this big. And so in the setup that I am using now, I have a separate microphone. So I'm not using my Bluetooth headset as a mic. Let's just set this to blue, fail blue. So this is Bluetooth. This is the communication between the machine and the headset. There is a tiny amount of communication. Let's say this blue is going from the machine that way. And this orange is going from the headset to the machine. That's a bad error. Not any better, but let's just roll with it. So there's a tiny amount going between the machine, or going from the headset to the machine. And what this is, is the, it allows for uh, just the machine and the headset to stay connected. And there is a tiny amount of the same communication direction going from the Windows machine, let's try, to, let's try to actually draw the straight line. You know what, actually, better idea. 2D shapes, line. Color, blue. Let's put it right there. Increase the thickness just a little. So that is data for of the Windows machine like just pairing and like a uh, timestamp stuff like that everything that's actually needed for the system to function these two systems to function together without the audio that is what these two lines are that is like the pairing information the bluetooth protocol all of that that is the orange line is the bluetooth headset talking to the windows machine and the or the orange line talking to the windows machine light blue line going to the Bluetooth headset. Now what we have uh, is, and then what we have is all of this space. Let me just, or these are meant to be set in the middle. So let me just suggest this. Doing all this in one take too. So you know, this is fun. Then what you have is, uh, what you're left with is all of this space, which is 
this color going from the Windows machine. What this is, is all sound data. This is high quality sound. You can tell it's high quality because it's in a big area. And you can see that this is true because if I open my sound panel, it is going, if I look at my uh, headset, which is not in use, I'm not using it, but I'm using my headphones. Headphones, advanced, it is two channels, 16-bit, 44, 100 hertz at CD quality. That is the highest I can do. That is the highest Bluetooth can do, or at least Windows Bluetooth can do. And like, the thing you should know is that this, this computer has a Bluetooth, has a pretty good Bluetooth chip in it. It's not a problem of the hardware, it is a problem of Windows Bluetooth protocol. But anyway, so that is what it is operating at right now. High quality audio going to the headset. Nothing in terms of audio going from the headset. But, if I have a mic on the headset, let's illustrate it with speech bubble, just because I can. Let me turn the fill off. Line colored black, thin, rotate it. Let me actually make this orange. So, this is the microphone in the headset. That's the mic in the headset, and uh, thought bubble, just so we can tell them the difference. This is the, these are the speakers in the headset. And so now what Windows has to do, because it is limited to this speed, is take a divider, just use line. And it has to split the remaining bandwidth in half so that you can have you can have some bandwidth for microphone and that is supposed to be orange because it's going away from the headset and then you have uh, let's see this should be this should be blue but you know let's let me just set it brushes fill color uh, blue there we go. So as you can see now, it has half the bandwidth for sending and half the bandwidth for receiving. Why do we still do this? Because I know for a fact that my Bluetooth headset has a chip that's more than capable of doing... Let me just get a select tool. My, my Bluetooth chip in my laptop and my headset is more than capable Actually, let me just, let me, let's not do it that way, let's get really close. It is more than capable on both ends of the spectrum to do that, basically. Increase the bandwidth. I'm not sure if there's an FCC policy that limits this, or why it does that. But, for whatever reason, even in modern day, with modern day Bluetooth protocol, my phone doesn't do this. I've done recordings with this headset. It sounds significantly better, so I'm pretty sure it, what it basically does is is that. And if there's any engineers or, or Bluetooth people in in the or who are watching this video who know what is happening better than I do, please please explain it in the comments because I can't find a a like legitimate reason to why this is not occurring because this this Bluetooth chip in my laptop is more than capable actually let me see if I can get the part number for this 
uh, device manager, Bluetooth, Qualcomm. Here we go. That is, that is my uh, device. Let's see. Do we have like a? I don't know what I'm really looking for here. But like, this is my Bluetooth chip. It's a pretty good Bluetooth chip. It's able to connect to a lot of these. It can connect to two Wiimotes, a Bluetooth headset, a Bluetooth, a, a, and a Wii balance board all at the same time with no delay, delay or lag time and it still has slots open for more headphones. But when I try to make it use a mic, it does that. Why? I am just baffled by it. Like, I understand, like, there was reasoning that back in the day this was the only amount of bandwidth we had for phones, but this isn't a phone. I have, I'm trying to talk over Discord where I can set, let me, let me show you, let me just go to one of my servers, let's just use this one, close that. And let me just go to my voice channel settings. I can hit the bitrate up to 96 kilobits per second. By default, it's set to 56. That is more than enough for that. But no, it does that. Why? I am, I'm not angry, I'm not like tearing the system apart. I just wanna know why. But anyways, the way that I get around this is I, what I do is I have a, I add a second thing, so down here, let's make it, let's make it red, just because I like red, text, and this is the internal mic of my laptop. And so, I'm straight up just bypassing Bluetooth. I'm just taking, taking that, sending it into there, which means I can use all of all of this bandwidth. I can use all of this bandwidth. Just for the sound going to my headset, and let me show you. Let me see if I can show you the difference in audio quality here. So, this is the current setup that you are hearing: is the Bluetooth headset just being used as headphones, and I can hear the difference because I have my mic playing back to my headphones, so I can hear it. This setup is what I'm using now. And you can hear it. Da, 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 da. Let's look at the audio quality here. What you guys are hearing is coming from my internal mic, which is DVD quality at 48,000 hertz, 16 bit, two channels. And it's actually playing through this microphone, which, same thing. Let me switch to my headset mic. And so what I have to do is go into here, listen to it through virtual audio, apply. Apply. And I have to go down here and change this to
All right, sorry about that. It went quiet for a second because OBS cannot hear it. But now it can. So let's look at the specifics here of uh, what low quality. So I'm hearing through this headset mic, or through this headset mode, at one channel, 16-bit, 8,000 hertz, telephone quality. What you guys are hearing is on channel 16 bits, 8,000 hertz, telephone quality being pumped through a two channel 16 bit, 48,000 hertz DVD quality line. You can definitely tell the difference between this setup and the, or the setup that's on screen and what I'm using now. Exact same hardware, exact same machine, exact same product, but I'm using the internal mic or the headset mic. On my phone, it does not sound this bad. I know that for a fact. I am actually getting annoyed with this enough that I want to actually change it back. Going dark for a second. Okay, that is working again. I can hear myself. And my ground headphones. I need to go into here. There we go. That is working. It sounds much better. And what gets me is that you can't sp you can't change it. You can't have like using the high quality. You can't have the mic and the high quality audio at the same time. It it just baffles me that in today's world this happens. Anyway, that's enough of me complaining about useless about uh, Bluetooth nonsense. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.